This morning we're with Mayor Greg Fisher. He's the mayor of Louisville, Kentucky. He is one of the leadership mayors. I've been at this conference for 20 years and I'll tell you, he knows what's going on with mayors, not only in the U.S., but around the world. I, um, it's a pleasure to see you, Mayor Fisher. Great and here. I'd like you to tell us, first of all, what's going on in Louisville. Well, like many cities in the country right now, we're going through a real growth spurt. Our city's in a real renaissance phase, $13 billion in constructions going on, unemployment super low. So our big challenge right now is to make sure that everybody in all parts of our city feel like they're part of this economic growth. And how are, you, how are you doing that? Well, intentionally, we reach out in many different ways. We're making specific investments in every part of town. We're upskilling folks as well. We want just not more jobs, but good jobs, living wage jobs. So that's a big focus of ours. Yeah. Um, I heard you speak earlier in the conference about compassionate cities and the yeah. fact that you sort of leading the charge about thinking about being kinder, a more gentle and welcoming kind of city. W what's going on with that? Well, the real notion is for people to recognize that we're all interdependent. We're in this together. So the notion of compassion speaks for a mayor to, to kind of lead from the highest level at building an aspirational culture in a city where we all understand that we're connected through compassion, through kindness, through love. And then we can disagree on tactics or political parties, but that we all have each other's best interest in mind. That's how we're going to excel in our cities, and certainly that's how we're going to excel in this country as well. And we need this type of growth and renewal of our human spirit in America right now. Do you, do you have a sense of it in the city? Can you, can you feel it? Um... You know, do, is there an energy around this in your yeah, well, co community? Uh, without question. Uh, we have a big week of service every year, 205,000 volunteers and acts of compassion. About a quarter of our city participated in that. So imagine if a quarter of the United States of America would stop during a week and help each other. And it could change our whole country. It's, we have our Compassionate Schools Project. It's in our health care system. It's in our housing strategy. So the question is not just to talk about the nobility of these human values, but then how do you operationalize them in the city so a city builds social muscle, belief in each other. Yeah, great. It's very powerful. Um, one of the things that we care about at Civic has to do with city branding or, you know, what is the community identity? When you drive into Louisville, what do you think? You know, what do, what do people think? So tell us a little bit about what, what you're doing to sort of shape that community brand and be, beyond compassionate cities. What else are you doing to make your city more uh, economically vibrant and healthy? Well, we have a really strong economic development strategy. We call ourselves a city of, of spirit, mm -hmm. a spirit of compassion. But we're also home to 95% of the world's bourbon. <laughs> the, the other 5% is counterfeit. And that's, of course, is a great spirit. Right, so right. bourbonism is a place-making strategy we have. You know, people go to Napa Valley for wine. Right. Last year, 1.4 million visitors for our bourbonism experiences, wow. bourbon and local food. So great, responsible, five-star type of experience. Yeah, so. I've had some of that Kentucky bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> so you can get all kind of spirit in our city. It's compassion. Yeah, it's bourbon. Great. It's that's all good. Fantastic. Great. Well, thank you so much for talking to us. Okay. It's great to see you. Good to be with you. Thanks very much. Bye.